Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to the series where I go through every single icon in Game Maker, every single drag and drop icon that is, and uh, teach you how it works. And I will also give you the equivalent of that icon in in code that you can that you can type with letters. So let's let's get right to it. Today we're working on sounds under the main tab. And uh, I actually did record this tutorial once, but it ended up being really long because I screwed up twice. <laughs> Pretty bad, like five-minute screw-ups. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do better this time. Uh, so what we can do is we can play a sound, and we're gonna play the sound gun. Uh, and gun is a sound effect, and our sound creepy politicians is is a song. It's it's a creepy politician song that my friend made. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna toss that in here, and so we are going to f not loop it, and now when we run that, it will play it will play the the sound, and you you might hear it. I don't know if you heard that or not, but it did play the sound. I heard it, uh, and if if you don't if you're not sure whether you heard it or not, you can try it out for yourself, and and try playing a sound, and I'm pretty sure it, that it will work. And now we have our sound creepy politicians, and that is a song. And we set looping to true, and what that means is when it gets to the end of the sound, it starts over and plays the sound again. And so this is really good for background music, uh, and and that is very good. And there is also, I'll, I'll show you that in a little second, but if we do keyboard space, stop the sound, creepy politicians, then when we run this, then our song will start playing. And then when I hit space, it will it will stop the sound. And you may have, <laughs> if if I wasn't talking too loud, uh, you may have heard it fade away in the background. And that is because it is a MIDI sound. MIDI sounds are great for games because because uh, you can like change the tempo and you can change you probably even change pitch and everything. Uh, there's tons of stuff you can do to modify them, and and in Game Maker. And so they're really good for background music, and they fade it out nicely, like that. So, uh, so yeah, MIDI. There, there's my plug for the day. Use MIDI songs. Uh, there's one other thing, and that is check sound. And what this does is check if the sound is playing. So we're going to check if the sound creepy politicians is playing. Then we'll stop the sound. Uh, and if it's not, then we don't need to worry about it. But this actually doesn't doesn't do any, doesn't really apply at all. But we can check. Um, we can make a step event because it, it would it would stop the sound of its playing, and if it's not, then we wouldn't have seen whether the thing would have worked anyways because it wasn't playing. So I'm just going to show you if creepy politicians is playing, then we will change our sprite to box. And if our sound creepy politicians is not playing, check the not, then we will change sprite into ball. And there is there is a better way to do this using some of these things here, uh, and if you know about it, then that's great, and I will teach you that eventually. But now we're just trying to keep it simple. So what happens is, when you do an if statement, then it will check the action that is directly after it. So if we put something in here like, if if the sound is playing, then we change the sprite, and we also uh we also jump to the right uh what will happen is it will always jump to the right because the if only affects the one directly after it and any other actions uh don't matter they will they'll run anyways and what the if does is only if it's playing does it do the action hopefully that makes sense so we'll we'll run this and you'll see you'll see what's happening so now our sound is playing and our sprite has decided to be a box. Our object has decided to be, have the box sprite. And so now when I hit space, it will stop the sound and it says, oh, the sound is not playing. I will be a ball. Uh, so that worked. And I did not change the sprite in the space thing. So I actually, it did work. This did, this, this, this thought. <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't talk. It's the morning. Uh, so... I'll probably be using that excuse for a few tutorials in a row because I'm recording a few in a row. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's get into the code. So what we can do is we can say 
sound play and we will play the sound gun but we will name it correctly and then it will work and we can do that and it will work and it will play the sound gun we can also do is sound underscore loop and that will loop a sound and we will loop the sound creepy politicians uh, which is a song and if we want to stop a sound like here in our space command uh, space command if if anyone makes a game called space command using um, the help that I've given you let me know send me send me a link and I'll play it up <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll 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 make a video of it I probably won't but I'll play it for sure so just let me know space command uh, technically it's an event but if someone makes a game called space event I don't even know but if we want to stop a sound we say sound underscore stop uh, and then I will put S and D creepy politicians and that will stop our creepy politician sound and now if we want to check so that we can change our image index we can say if sound is playing creep SND creepy politicians uh, and then make sure we close the right number of brackets then the action right after it will be run so sprite underscore index equals sprite box if and then to say sound is not playing you say exclamation point sound is playing and so you just put an exclamation point before inside your brackets before your before your little checker thing here uh, so sound is playing s and d creepy politicians close your brackets then sprite index equals sprite ball and this will work and there's all there's better ways to do this once again for those for the smarty pants out there um, but I'll, I'll teach you that in the future so now when we hit space it stops our sound and it does that so we have got everything to work just like the icons which is my goal <laughs> is is to 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 get code to work for you guys so if you did enjoy that that tutorial uh, you can go ahead and click the thumbs up button uh, it's free to do that so go ahead and if you enjoyed it so much that you would like to be told when I put out new videos uh, like say you're really looking forward to particles uh, I a little bit I am and a little bit I <laughs> I'm kind of dreading it because it'll probably be a long one uh, but a lot of stuff will be learned so, uh, if, if you'd like to know when particles come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and, and you will be notified when I put out new videos. Till then, my name is Cameron Penner and I will see you guys next time.